Good morning, YouTube. Good morning. I'm here studying my Bible and doing my five-minute um, Bible study for women this morning. The key verse is, so letting your sinful nature control your mind leads to death. But letting the Spirit control your mind leads to life and also peace. I highlighted it yesterday. I highlighted Romans 8 and 6. The mind governed by the flesh is death, but the mind governed by the spirit is life and peace. The mind governed by the flesh is hostile to God. It does not submit to God's laws, nor can it do so. Those who are in the realm of the flesh cannot please God. And that's so important to know that. This chart here in this book, Sinful Nature and Spiritual Nature. Sinful Nature focuses on things of the flesh is death, is enmity against God, means you do not have the spirit of Christ and are not his, is not subject to the law of God, cannot please God, focus on the and now the spiritual nature is focuses on things of the spirit, is life and peace, meets the requirements of the law, means that Christ lives in you and you are in the spirit. Is life, will give life to your mortal bodies. You know your sinful nature is rearing its head for control of your mind. The instinctual thing for our nature to do is to be sinful. But a lot of times we must go against the grain and break through to the other side of the spiritual nature, which, um, as it reads here, focuses things on the spirit. It's life and it's also peace. And when we live peaceably with all men, we will see the kingdom of God. How do you know the Holy Spirit is controlling your mind? It's controlling the mind by um, just things of the, of the flesh. When our mind is being controlled, we're thinking of sinful things, we're thinking of death, we're thinking of um, um, suicidal tendencies, suicidal thoughts, and just not things of, 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 the, um, of the spirit. How could your day be different if you allow the spirit full control? Well, if I allow if I allow the spirit full control, especially the Holy Spirit, um, that would give me so much more peace. And the fruits of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, kindness, gentleness, meekness. And all those things are part of of seeking the Holy Spirit, seeking his face, seeking him more and more each and every day. For most of us, our minds are in overdrive even before our feet hit the floor in the morning. Our brains are so jam-packed with schedules and responsibilities and to-do lists that we barely have time to think about anything outside of what must be done. But even with overload mind, there are still negative feelings of harsh circumstances or resentful feelings or spite or even 
lustful fantasies that barge in these thought patterns are all evidence that our sinful nature is in control Romans 8 tells us that leads to death when left unchecked but that's not the end life and peace are there for each of us when we let the Holy Spirit control our minds how right now first thing this morning surrender your mind to God's perfect will Ask for guidance and continue to give your mind over to the Spirit throughout the day. He is faithful to supply life-giving thoughts grounded in the love of God. Let us pray. God, I'm done giving my sinful nature control of mine. Today I choose to surrender my thoughts and feelings to your will. I invite the Holy Spirit to take the help the helm of my mind. I know you are in control. I'll live a peaceful life filled with your promises.
TD. This dress I got from Burlington and this bag I got from Coach and my hair is just tied up, ready to go on my cruise. Thank you.